If not taking any CBD, should LDN be taken every day? Have increased from 1.5 to 4.5 milligrams over six weeks and now taking it every day for metastatic cancer diagnosis. Currently no cancer drugs um, following radiotherapy. Um, yes, your LDN should be taken every day, um, once a day, either in the morning or night, whatever is best for you. Um, and I would continue to take that um, indefinitely. Yeah, and Dr. Paul Anderson actually has quite a bit of information written about um, the use of LDN in cancer. And um, also Dr. Dal Glaish has done an enormous amount of research of CBD, LDN, and cancer. And there was talk a, a while ago about cycling that, that LDN. Remember that? Where it was like on for three or four days and then off for three or three days and then kind of back and forth, back and forth. And Again, if I remember right, correct me if I'm wrong, Dr. Anderson talked a little bit about that, but also talked about how to reduce those cancer cells, especially the metastatic cancer cells, you need that LDN there, but also in conjunction with very good CBD, broad, full spectrum, not broad spectrum, but full spectrum CBD, so that CBD... C, B, A, B, C, D, the whole alphabet, C, B, D, um, all those cannabidiols. And um, you, this is this is CBD that you want to make sure comes from a professional source that is without toxins and has been carefully screened and put together. So maybe not necessarily CBD that you get at a Green Cross store or at the gas station or even a health food store, probably from a professional source either a professional pharmacy or even your medical provider. Just my two cents. Oh my gosh. Here is. Yes. Oh my gosh. On cancer. It, it, it was in my bag from the conference. It's right next to me. <laughs> yes. And I love that book. And, you know, Dr. Anderson's in my backyard. He's based out of Seattle part of the time. And, you know, I, I think a lot of providers end up kind of on the hot seat, so to speak, you know, where other practitioners have really honed in and they're like watching them like a hawk because, you know, they're doing things a little bit differently than the, the traditional ways, but they're seeing amazing success. And I think there's some providers that kind of feel like they're getting their toes stepped on a little bit. But if we could all just open up and share and realize that we're all here to take care of patients, just so that we can have a healthier and a, and a better community. I mean, if I get sick, that's what I would want too, right? Is I'm going to seek out those individuals that are in the know and that are right there to help me. And yeah, Paul Anderson's book is amazing. Nisha Winter's book is really good too, which is the metabolic approach to cancer. And again, um, she, she talks about LDN. So um, we wish you all the best on your journey, and um, yeah, I'm I'm happy to hear that LDN is in your in your pocket that you're actually using that because we there has been so much published where we've seen on PET scan that well the tumor was there and now it's not so yay.